Hi, I'm Denver, and I work at CS Mont Children's Hospital, and I help the kids at the hospital feel better. Today, I wanted to talk about an important topic, medicine. I've been learning about medicine, like why I take it, and when I need to take it, but I know that there is still more I need to learn. Let's take a look at how we can work together so we can be safe around medicine. Do you know where your adults keep medicine in your house? My mom keeps my medicine in the kitchen and other medicines in a locked box. No matter where medicine is kept in your house, it's important for adults to keep them up and out of your reach so you don't accidentally take it when it's not time. If you see medication where it's not supposed to be, remind adults to put it away somewhere safe. Sometimes even grandparents need this reminder. My mom and dad keep medicine up and away in cabinets. Even though I can reach them, I know I can't take them out. I also know only an adult I trust can give it to me. Oh, right. I should never take medicine that's left on the counter without my adult there giving it to me and watching me take it. We talked about how easy it can be to mistake medicine for candy because some of them look alike. Can you tell the difference between these pictures? Which one is medicine? This one is tough. Even though you may be able to tell the difference when they are side by side, if the medicine is by itself, it can be hard to tell. Speaking of giving medicine, how do you take medicine? When my mom gives me medicine, she checks the bottle for instructions and the time I have to take it. Then she uses the cup the medicine comes with to measure how much I need to take. After I take the medicine, my mom puts it back in a safe location, up and away. Now that I'm getting older, there are some medicines that I can take that are pills, and I don't have to drink them anymore. My adult tells me it's important to only take medicine when needed, and to only take it if a trusted adult is available to give it to me. They also said it's important to never share my medicine with anyone else because it could cause them harm. Medicine that is given to me by a doctor is for me only to help treat my very specific needs. What do you do if your medicine is left over? Or what do you do with your medicine if your pain is gone? After a few days, I felt better and told my mom. She said I could stop taking the medicine, but we needed to find somewhere safe to throw it away. She looked online and found out there's a medication disposal bin at our pharmacy. We went together to throw it away. When I was all done taking my medicine, my mom said we weren't able to go to a safe disposal site. So she made sure the medicine was tossed safely by mixing it with kitty litter. Yuck! Yuck. My mom said that when there's leftover medicine, we need to throw it away. But we can't just throw it away like we do with other trash. Mom says we need to mix it with something gross, like kitty litter, or use coffee grounds. That way, nobody can find the medicine and take it by accident. You could also bring it to a hospital, like the one I work at, because they have special bins that are only for medicine. My adult says we can take it to other places where police officers and other trusted adults can throw it away for us. I have a question for you. What if my friend who was sick needs medicine? Can I just give it to them? No! no! I wouldn't do that. Only your friend's doctor or adult can give them medicine. You should never share your medicine with somebody else. I now know that my adult should keep my medicine in a safe place so that only they can give it to me when it's the right time. I also learned why it's important to safely throw away medicine after I'm done with it, like taking it back to the hospital and using the special bins for medicine or mixing it with something yucky like kitty litter. Check out my other videos about what pain is and ways to help when we feel pain.